Okay, let's go ahead and calculate determinants using MATLAB. We'll do it numerically first. And I'm going to pull up a command I typed in before. You can see over here in the command history. I played around for a little while before I started working on this. So I'm going to recall that command. There it is. A little bit anticlimactic, but that's all you have to do to find a determinant in MATLAB. And fortunately, it's minus 2, just like we thought. I'm going to go ahead and clear the command window. In fact, I'm going to clear the uh, workspace. Let's try this same thing now in uh, symbolically. Let's, let's try using letters rather than numbers. So I'm going to type in sims for symbolics, and I'm going to use that command right there. So a1, a2, b1, and b2 will all now be symbolic variables. And if I recall this command, I want that one. There it is, symbolically. Well, will this uh, work symbolically to find the determinant? You bet. And there's the expression we saw before. Now, what happens when we go to 3 by 3? Well, I told you it's a little more involved. So let's pull up the sims command again. And this time, we're going to make three rows and three columns. So there it is. There's a command right there. That makes a 3 by 3 matrix. Okay, the same format, basically, as we saw before. And let's just pull up determinant. And there it is. Okay, it got a lot more complicated. And this gets much more complicated as the matrix gets bigger and bigger. Uh, it's very unusual to calculate by hand the, the determinant of anything but a 2 by 2 or 3 by 3 matrix. It gets very cumbersome after that. Fortunately, MATLAB doesn't really care. It'll calculate the determinant of any order matrix you happen to have. So with that done, let's start exploring matrix inverses and how to calculate them.